So I'm making this catch up on figurines, right? Figurine reviews, right? And I really don't have like a lot of time to talk about them because uh, what else there is to talk about them? So today I'm going to be hitting you with a, another review of a catch up on figurine. And this one, it is a figure of Splatoon. Uh, this figure does not do anything. It just stands there. I think it's like one of those female squid because I do believe that the male squid has like a different um, shape on them. So yeah. So this is what it is. I do believe that you can disrobe her. Um, there's obviously something missing in here because um, there's some something on her hair it's like missing maybe she's like wearing a hat or something like that so maybe you can customize it like so her ears pretty weird I think the ears are like attached incorrectly oh so her ears come off wait what huh your hands come off I wonder if I can like put it back in that doesn't look right what the hell man I wonder if like the ear belongs to someone else <laughs> because it just doesn't look right I mean there, there's no symmetry yeah so yeah anyway let's take a look at the uh, paint the face isn't wonky obviously because this is an original figurine uh, sharp printing on her shirt over there that it looks like a Kraken or something like that. Mm. Absolutely no detail on her um, ears, on her tail hair thing. Shirt tag over there. Detail on her shoes. Balenciaga's. Even the foot of a shoe, a piece of a shoe is probably, uh, you know, sculpted, which is really nice. Ooh, ah, man, this really reminds me of something. I don't know why, but this figurine kind of reminds me of that uh, homunculus. Uh, drawing that's uh, pretty creepy with a big ass hand and a big ass head. The whole one because it shows all the uh, the sensory of the human being. Uh, that thing is so freaking weird. It just it still haunts my me till today because you know when I was small I saw that um, that thing on this medical book that my mom got. Uh, my mom was a nurse. Yeah, she uh, she had that book as per her studies, and goddamn, uh, I saw that thing, that homunculus thing with a big head and a big hands and a big feet, and yeah, this is pretty much like that. Oh my god, that thing is creepy as hell. Gollum looks like that, you know. Gollum from the Law of the Rings looks like that. Christ. That is the thing is freaky. Yeah, so I you know what I'm not going to remind myself of that thing ever again. So I'm just going to uh, leave you with this review. If you enjoy it, then go ahead and uh, I am going to make a thread about that. Yep, definitely. But dang, really reminds me of that. Ooh, that homunculus fig, the creature, the one with the senses. Oh god, that thing is scary as hell. Like with the big ass lips and the big ass nose and the big ass eyes and the big ass head and the big ass hands and the small torso. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that thing supposed to be? Like some kind of a uh, cryptid or something? Because that thing is scary. And this thing over here reminds me of that. Especially if her pose and she just stands there. The rear, because she kind of looks like a freaking little goblin or something like that. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm reminiscing of all times now. So yeah, uh, if you like this figurine, then uh, go ahead and grab it. And you just saw me review it, right? So you know exactly what you're getting. I show you the front. I show you the side. I show you the side. Up there. And I show you the 
bottom, what you're going to get, the close-up with the figurine, and of course I will also show you the rear part of the figurine. What else do you want to see? Like, read out that thing, Is there some detail over there on the shoes. Yeah, so it is what it is. So if you fancy this thing, go ahead and grab it. I purchased it for like $1 or something. So yeah, see you again in the next video, and thanks for watching. Bye.